Alrighty, hi everyone. Welcome back to another episode of my declutter series. Today, I figured we would tackle primers. So I'm actually gonna do drugstore and high-end primers. These are a little bit high up, so I will be taking them out and doing them sitting down on my desk. But here's what we're starting with with drugstore. And my high-end primer drawer is another situation where I can't even close it when they're all together. So I'm hoping to make some progress here with my primers because I like literally can't even see what I have right now. So let's start with drugstore and then we'll move to high-end. Okay, so I've got my primers lined up on my desk. I figured we should just go through one bin at a time so that it's not too overwhelming. Why don't we start off with the lip products? Because in my primer drawer, I also like to keep any lip prep products or like eye products as well. So the first thing I have is the Pixi Collagen Eye Serum. I want to keep this. I actually haven't given it that much time and attention. I haven't really tried this out, but I really want to. So I'm going to keep this. I need to keep using this. This is like a lip balm, but it's the size of hand cream. Dr. Papa's Overnight Lip Mask. I still want to keep using this, so I'm going to keep it. My CoconutBalm.com is definitely expired at this point, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Aquaphor, you know what? This is like newer actually. So I'm gonna keep this as well. I'm also gonna keep the Pixie Collagen Lip Gloss. This is kind of in the wrong spot. Well, maybe not. It's like the size of the lip products in here. This is the Pixie Brightening Perfector. I am gonna keep this. I'm also keeping the Milani Tinted Under Eye Brightener. And I actually really like both of these lip balms, so I'm gonna keep both of these as well. All right, I've got this separated into, I think these are like the hydrating primers, so let's see what we've got. Well, I guess this one isn't. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer with sunscreen. I never use this. I don't really like too many matte primers. They tend to make my skin more oily, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. These Neutrogena primers are some of my all-time favorites from the drugstore. I definitely don't need two of the tone correcting, even though it's my favorite one. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's older. And I am actually gonna keep all three other ones. The Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. I feel like I've tried this one time. I'm kind of intrigued, honestly, just by looking at it. So I think I will actually keep this. These Belief Beauty primers, I really don't use much anymore. Plus, I feel like these are maybe expired. I feel like I really did like the hydrating one. One, but I haven't used them in so long, so I'm gonna get rid of both. The Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. I bought this for a video, I think based off of your guys' recommendations, and I honestly forgot I had it. So I'm gonna keep this to try, because I feel like it deserves another chance. This Revlon Photo Ready is one that I used to use all the time. So I think I actually picked it up for a video where I tried products that I used to love. I haven't used it since, it's definitely expired, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer or Hydrating Jelly Primer. I actually remember liking this, but it's been way too long since I've used it. I don't reach for it anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm also going to get rid of the Honest Beauty Everything Primer. I actually don't mind this one, but I think I have a newer bottle of this that I will replace this with, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The Maybelline Master Prime Hydrate and Smooth Primer. This used to be a favorite of mine. I need to replenish it because it's definitely expired, but I think I really enjoyed this, so I'm gonna get rid of it for now, but I will try to replace it, and I'm also gonna get rid of the Haley's Beauty Primer. This one's definitely expired. Okay, we have a couple of random products here. The Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Priming Whip I love, as well as the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. However, this is in a shade that I actually am not really using. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my friends and family bin and I'm gonna keep this one. Alrighty. I've actually really been enjoying this J Cat Beauty H2O Fresh Dewy Primer. It's really, really nice, so I'm gonna keep it. I also really like this Radiant Primer Serum from Neutrogena, so I'm gonna keep that. I haven't used this in forever, the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, so if I ever want it again, I will buy it, but it's been way too long and it's like separated in there, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm also going to get rid of the fourth rate oat face milk. I really don't use this Flower Beauty and CBD Chill Out Skin Serum, so I'm going to get rid of this. I also don't use the Glossier Super Bounce Serum anymore, so I'm going to declutter that. This was a limited edition e.l.f. Retro Paradise like face oil, primer glow oil. I don't use this. I really don't use that many dropper primers, to be honest, so I'm going to get rid of this too. I also never use this, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This used to be a go-to for me, but I haven't used it in so long, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Maybe I should pick it up again, but I don't know. If I ever have the desire, I can always grab it again, but I just haven't used it, and I don't really like the packaging on this. It's not very user-friendly. Like, it's literally just a spatula. I don't know. Not my favorite packaging. I absolutely love the Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir, so I'm keeping that. And since these are newer to me, I'm gonna keep these and 
keep trying them. So these are two of the like serum products that I haven't really used, but I do wanna kinda keep trying. So the Neutrogena Glow Primer Serum and Matte Primer Serum. All right, what's the next bin? This Hard Candy Hydrating Primer I just recently got. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup one, so I'm gonna keep it. This is actually also supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup one, the Power Grip Primer, so I'm gonna keep that. I love the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, so I'm definitely keeping that. Also love the NYX Angel Veil, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one's pretty good, the Milani Chill Out. I probably should use it more. I am gonna keep it, and I'm also gonna keep the NYX Marshmallow Primer. The Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I'm gonna get rid of this. I haven't used it in forever. I don't remember how I feel about the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Primer. I love the Pretty Fresh line. I haven't used this in so long, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer from e.l.f. I never use, so I'm gonna declutter this as well. The Catrice Prime and Fine Fresh It Up Moisturizing Primer. I honestly have not used this, so ugh, I don't really have a reason keep it at this point, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The Pixi Rose Flash Balm I actually love as a primer, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the little teeny Haley's Beauty primer. I actually have a full size now, so I'm gonna declutter this one. The Rose Primer, you know what? I haven't used this in so long, so I'm gonna declutter this. I honestly don't remember how I feel. I'm also going to declutter the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear. This is another Revlon primer that I'm intrigued by, so I'm actually gonna keep this because I forgot I had this too. All right, last drugstore bin. Love this so much, the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. I'm gonna definitely keep this. I love this Soft Focus Glow. This is actually expired, so I'm totally gonna take a picture of it so I remember to rebuy this because I love it. So I'm decluttering it, but I will replace this one. <laughs> I love this Believe Beauty Radiantly Primed Primer. This is such a good one, so I'm gonna keep it. This is newer to me, but I haven't really tried it too many times, but I do wanna keep trying it. So the Milani Glow Drops, I'm gonna keep. The L'Oreal Lumi Glotion is one that I used to use quite a bit. It's been a while. I think I need to declutter these and replace them because they are definitely expired. So I'm gonna get rid of these, but next time I'm at Walmart, maybe I'll pick them up again. The NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer. Did I really like this one? I can't remember. I truly can't remember. Oh no. See, I'm stumped. Maybe I'll keep it to give it one more shot. I'm also gonna keep the Milani Glass Skin Primer. I haven't tried this enough times to really know how I feel. I'm gonna keep the NYX High Glass, another one that I want to keep trying. I am going to declutter this one and keep this one. Both CoverGirl, but I want to try this one. I haven't actually given it a fair shot. The L'Oreal Visible Lift Primers, I actually have not tried enough. So I'm going to keep both of these actually. But I am going to declutter the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. It's been a long time since I have replaced this, so I'm going to get rid of it. And that was the last bin. Okay, let's see how we did so far. I actually think I did better than I thought I would with primers. It's actually surprising. So I'll show you guys what's staying and what's going. Wow, I feel like I did a pretty good job actually. So here's all the primers that are staying and here are all the primers that are going. It's like almost half that I got rid of actually. I'm impressed with myself. Apparently I'm able to part with primers. Well, at least drugstore primers. Let's go ahead and see how we do with the high end. But first I'm gonna put these back in my drawer so we can see the satisfying after shot of how much better it looks. All right, so I put them back and we've got a lot more room to grow, I feel like. So I did my serums here and then like my smoothing primers, more smoothing and blurring primers. We've got hydrating primers, lip and prep products or like under eye products, and then my glowy primers. I'm happy. Let's see if we can make progress with the high end drawer. That's gonna be a little harder. <laughs> okay, let's dive into the high end primers. Let's get to it. I don't know about this, Tylen. Nice and easy. No, please don't break my primers. <laughs> nice. No. No, It'll no, be, no. It's smooth. Look how smooth. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. That was a, it's another cornucopia. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh, wow, I've already forgotten about half of these because they were at the bottom of the drawer. I absolutely love the Thrive Cosmetics primers, especially the Brilliant Face Brightening Primer, so I'm gonna keep both of these. This is such a good one, but it's definitely expired. I need to replenish this if they still make it. I don't know. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer from First Aid Beauty. It's so good, but it's gotta go. Oh my, this is the Super Goop Zinc Screen. <laughs> I love this one, but it expired. Darn it, because it has sunscreen in it, so it has like 
like a specific expiration date, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I forgot about this. I'm keeping it. It's the Lawless Set the Stage Primer. It's so good. I also love this Rare Beauty Primer, and we will also keep while we're at it, the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. So this one's like the blurring, this one's illuminating. I like them both, so I'm gonna keep them. Let's see here, we've got a bunch of Makeup Forever primers. I really like having these for when I do other people's makeup, especially. I'm definitely more of like a brightener primer girl, and then I love the Hydro Boost, but yes, I'm gonna keep them all. This is more of a skincare product, but I actually love to use it for skin prep for makeup. It's from Bare Minerals, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm also gonna keep all of my Charlotte Tilbury things. So I actually have the Magic Night Cream, because it's just such a rich moisturizer. I also have the Magic Eye Rescue, which I'm gonna keep. Let's see, let's find more Charlotte Tilbury. The Magic Serum is a must. Oh, here's another Make It Forever one I'm going to keep. And also the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is a must. So I'm definitely keeping that. Also going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. I love this. Another Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. It's so good. And while we're at it, we're going to keep the Cryo Eye Rescue Serum. And of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. An incredible product. I would never ever declare this. It's so good. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I really hardly ever use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I know it's a favorite among many. I am going to keep it though because a lot of people request that I use it in videos. So I'm going to keep it even though it's not something I use all the time. I actually love Max Strobe Cream. So I'm going to keep this. This Universal Tinted Moisturizer. It's honestly more of like a prep product because it's pretty glowy. So that's why I have it in primers. I haven't used it too much, but I do like it, so I'm gonna keep it. The Pat McGrath primer, I've only used a couple of times, but it's just like a good basic primer, so I am gonna keep it. The Fenty Beauty Retouch Primer, it has been way too long. Probably should replace this, so I'm actually gonna declutter this one. Oh, here's the Charlotte Tilbury one that we almost forgot, my friends. The Super Fusion Facial Oil, I'm totally gonna keep, as well as the Invisible UV Flawless Primer. I love Charlotte Tilbury primer products. This is the Fenty Hydrating Primer. I actually really like this one, but it's definitely expired by now, so I am I'm going to get rid of it, but I would love to revisit this sometime if I ever got a new bottle just because I really did enjoy it for a hot minute there. I'm also going to keep these Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primers. Oh, here's another Make It Forever one we're going to keep. I am obsessed with these from Smashbox, both the Primerizer and the Illuminate Glow Primer. Now, this Primerizer, I think, is the new version of what this used to be. It's a little different. They don't make this one anymore, so I am going to get rid of it, which is so sad because I love this. But this one is still good. I still like the old one better. I don't know. It could be the exact same formula. I could be just making it up in my head. I feel like it's very different personally, but I could truly just be making that up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm keeping both of these, decluttering this. This is such a basic product, but in the best way, the Clinique Moisturizer. I love this underneath makeup, so this is staying. Oh, here's another Makeup Forever one we're gonna keep. This primer, I was so obsessed with the Dominique Cosmetics and JD Weighty primer. They don't make this anymore. This is the Ultra Hydrating Complexion Primer. Oh my goodness, it was incredible. So I am gonna actually archive this. It does not need to be taking up space in my drawer, but it was such a a favorite for a long time, it's so good. I feel like this should be permanent. Anyway, I'm gonna declutter it for now. I'm gonna add the Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer to the Keep Bin. The Embryolis Lay Cream Concentrate is a staple. I definitely need to replace this, so I am gonna declutter it, but I will be buying a new one. I love this stuff, it's so good. For makeup artists, it just preps the skin beautifully. And for sensitive skin, it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about this. This Lancome Blurring Stick, Blur and Go Primer Stick, whatever, it literally erases your pores. It's incredible, I'm not getting rid of this. You couldn't pay me to declutter this, it's so good, so I'm keeping it. I'm also gonna keep these two Smashbox primers. I really do enjoy Smashbox primers in general, and these two are really nice. I love my Supergoop sunscreens. They work great as primers. I definitely don't need two of the unseens. I'm trying to figure out which one is older. I bet the one that's more scraped off is older, so I'm going to keep the newer one, and I'm going to keep these two as well. We are also going to keep the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Primer. I'm also going to keep the Jaclyn Face Oil Primer. I don't know if they make this or not. It used to be my favorite. I need to double check. I'm going to put it in the keep bin for now, but if they don't make it anymore, I'm going to archive it. If they do, I need to replace it, but I don't want to get rid of it because I love it so much. So I'm going to keep this for now. Oh, this is missing a lid, but I love this. This is the Beekman 1802 Milk Primer. I need to find the lid to this. It's one of my favorites right now. This usually stays on my desk, so I might put it back there, but I need to find the lid for <laughs> oh, how I love this primer. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. It's incredible. I'm definitely keeping it. I'm also definitely keeping the Victoria Beckham primer. This is a very luxurious primer, but so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. 
the Becca Light Shift Dewing Tint. They don't make this anymore. The brand is no longer around, so I am gonna declutter it. I actually love Bobbi Brown prep products as well, so I'm gonna keep the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm also gonna keep the Eye Base. These are incredible. And then the Extra Eye Repair Balm as well. Oh, I'm so in love with this primer from Natasha Denona, the Hygiene Skin Glass. Definitely a keeper. These are some lip prep products from Thrive Cosmetics that I love and cannot live without. I travel with these. They're the best sunscreen lip balms I've ever tried, so I'm definitely keeping it. This By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer is actually so nice. I haven't used it in a while though. Hmm, I'm trying to decide, should I keep it? You know, when I'm indecisive, I keep it, so I'm gonna keep this one. I am going to keep the Summer Fridays Eye Cream, as well as the Dr. Jart Cica Pear Color Correcting Treatment and the Lawless Lip Mask. I'm also gonna keep the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This I need a new one of. They like went out of business for a while and then they came back and I don't know if they've brought back the liquid glass. This was like a favorite of mine. So I'm gonna declutter it. I might hang on to it if they have not yet brought it back, but I do need to replace it soon. So I'm gonna declutter it for now, but it is one of my favorites. I'm gonna keep the Laura Geller Spackle Primers. I haven't used these enough to get a full opinion, so I'm gonna keep them. The Hourglass primers are so luxurious. I'm gonna keep all three. Oh, I'm gonna keep this lip balm as well. The YSL Touche Claw Blurring Primer. It was sent to me in PR. I honestly don't use this, so I'm gonna get rid of it, but I do feel like maybe a family member or a friend would appreciate it because it's YSL and I just don't use it, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't be used. So I'm gonna declutter it, but hopefully it will go to a better home. I'm gonna keep the Lancome Serum. I like to keep serums in here just for skin prep. I'm also gonna keep the Say Sun Visor. The Relevant one and done everyday cream. I'm gonna keep same with the Tatcha liquid silk canvas Who I love the Tatcha dewy skin cream for underneath makeup So this is definitely a keeper the touch and soul no problem primer is one that I don't personally use But I know a lot of you guys love so I like to keep things like this in my collection for videos So I'm gonna keep it this RMS beauty beauty oil I haven't tried, I don't think. So I'm gonna keep this to try. Okay, I love the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. They're so good, but these are definitely expired. I need to replenish them because they're amazing, but I will be getting rid of them for now. The MAC Natural Radiance Base, I never use. I don't know if this is limited edition or what, but I definitely use the other MAC primer more than this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep both of these Tula primers. I don't remember how old this is. The Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. I really should be writing dates on some of these things. You know what, actually I feel like this is newer to me. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. If I'm this confused, maybe I should just not keep it because I probably won't use it if I feel like it's old. <laughs> so I'm gonna declutter this one, but maybe I have a backup in my makeup stash, and if so, I will try to replenish it. I'm going to keep the Dior Backstage Primer. I actually haven't tried this enough. The Hydrating Water Jelly Primer from Huda Beauty, so I'm gonna keep it to give it another chance. I love the Too Faced Hangover Primer, as well as the Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer, so I'm gonna keep both of these. This is a famous eye cream, the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright. It definitely needs to be replaced, so I'm gonna declutter it. I'm gonna keep the One Size Secure the Blur. We're down to the last few, folks. I love this Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Do they make this gripping primer anymore? Hold on. Yeah, they do, okay. I really don't use gripping primers all that often, but I forgot I had it, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm also gonna keep the Soft Matte Primer from NARS. I'm gonna keep this Kevin Aquan Primer. I'm gonna keep this Synchro Skin Primer from Shiseido. I'm gonna keep this Power Primer from Laura Mercier, as well as the Professional. And we're gonna keep these REM Beauty products. This is like an under eye blurring balm and a lash serum. This is the Jones Rose. Miracle Balm in Eau Naturelle. Honestly, I have not gotten enough use out of this, but I do want to give it more of a chance. So I'm going to keep this as well. And that's all of the high-end primers, guys. So let me show you what is staying and what is going. Well, we definitely kept a lot more of the high-end primers than we did drugstore, but I feel like I got rid of a pretty good amount. So this is what we got rid of in my primers in general. This is what I'm keeping. So let's go ahead and put this back in my drawer and see if I can actually access everything that I have, because that's ultimately the goal so I can actually go through my products. So I will see you guys over there after I put them back in my drawer. Okay, so I had a few extra bins to use in my primer drawer. Maybe it was a bad idea, I don't know, because it still kind of looks full <laughs> because I tried to use the bins, but here's the final. <laughs> I feel like it looks almost more full. I tried to organize them and then it got 
super crazy. So anyway, I might redo this, reorganize it, whatever. Point is, the drawer shuts. That's good news. So that's really exciting. I also did keep some of these out and I found the lid to my Beekman primer, but these are the ones that I'm gonna keep on my desk that I just use all the time. So that's what we're gonna put over on my desk, which I will be doing a tour of, by the way. So if you wanna see what I keep on my desk, stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me declutter my primers. I feel like I made some progress with primers, right? Like I feel like I did a decent job. I don't know, I'm not the best declutterer in the world, but that's okay. At least we are making some sort of progress in my mind. If you wanna see more declutter videos, I will have the playlist in the description box down below and stay tuned for my next episode, which is coming soon. Thanks for watching you guys. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.